Welcome back to Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by championnews.net. This is Carol Parisi, Jack Roser, your host, and I are speaking with Rick Newton, and we're talking about local government versus local elections versus national elections and what the grassroots are going to do. So we were having some interesting conversations mm. um, during the break. So let's continue them so our listening audience can hear what we were talking about as far as primaries and sure. how the grassroots are going to uh, move this thing forward locally and nationally. Uh, it, it's interesting as you know, candidates have really, have in the last few weeks started to uh, confirm that they are in fact candidates and, and so they have something to, uh, we have people to talk about, they have specific things that they have to talk about as far as their beliefs and what we're starting to see, I mean you can jump on for example to Facebook at any time and you can get into some some interesting conversations about the pros and cons of different candidates. Personally, I hope that we've learned something from the 2010 election, which is to not get so bogged down in a given candidate um, that we take the time to understand the pros and cons. Nobody's going to be the perfect candidate. Mm -mm. And ultimately we have a, a candidate or a, a, uh, an opponent um, that we need to defeat with whomever it takes. That doesn't mean we necessarily want to compromise our values. Hopefully we start to move the, the definition of our candidate to something more conservative than what we saw in 2008. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jack, what, did, what were you saying? We were discussing a little bit about well, primaries and what the folks yeah, are going to have to do. Yeah, we've got all this energy in the Tea Party people and a lot of intelligence uh, and different ideas about things. It's all going to boil down in an election, in a primary, where the Republican Party uh, doesn't really have much of a role to play, and here in Illinois uh, didn't do too well, uh, lost a lot of respect. So uh, the Tea Party is going to be organized into many segments to support uh, candidates all over the state. And uh, uh, there are going to be differences of opinion in each district over who the candidate should be. Mm -hmm. That's well and good. So let's get, let's get at that thing. But uh, as you get down to where you're really going to select a candidate in a primary, what you don't want to do is fall into a trap like that thing in New York uh, where you get three two Tea Party people in the primary and one liberal. The liberal's going to win that thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got to organize so that that doesn't happen to us. Uh, you've got to get uh, one Tea Party person, conservative, right to life, whatever you want to call them, uh, you got to get one of them uh, in there that's best equipped uh, to win that primary and the following general election. Takes a little organizing ability and, and tempering of enthusiasm, uh, personal uh, desires, ambitions. It's all got to boil down uh, to, uh, it's okay if you have six conservatives, Tea Party people, running in a primary, like mm -hmm. happened with Walsh, mm -hmm. let them duke it out. Mm -hmm. That leads to uh, a, a real good general mm -hmm. election. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're going to have to uh, uh, harness our passions and come up with candidates that can really win in the general election. And uh, uh, we're going to have to play politics in the sense that we have to go into a primary uh, so that we don't swamp it with a bunch of... Uh, of Tea Party people where one liberal is going to steal the election away because that's what will happen. And uh, that's a, a fact of political life that we're going to have to live with. So uh, I present a complicated thing here and uh, I present it up front because it's something we're going to learn with all of the individual uh, ambitions that are found within the Tea Party movement. Lots of new leaders here mm -hmm. and they all want to be recognized. <laughs> Uh, the power of that's got to be uh, brought so that it's a team of horses pulling in the same direction. That's a good point. I, I think just what we were discussing, too, we have a good, healthy, vibrant field for a primary, and then after that primary is over, whoever the most conservative candidate is, you know, everybody needs to buck up we and gotta, get behind we, that candidate. We've got to have our own primary before the primary in the sense that... Um, uh, if the liberals try to, listen, uh, Madigan is the smartest politician in the state. He's going to trifle with what we're doing. Others will, with their own uh, nasty means, are going to try to sneak uh, one more 
a grasping Democrat into this election by uh, finding some uh, foolish person on the side to, to screw up our elections. They will do that. That's politics. politics. And there's a lot of rotten stuff goes on. <laughs> we have to be as smart as can be. Uh, we're, we're taking General Washington's army and hopefully uh, we'll treat it like General Washington is and go on to a, a real victory of people that, that care about uh, the principles of America. Rick, what were you what were you starting to say before we vote on? Well, right? one one thing that that I would hope that we would do as a Tea Party movement is to really minimize our I, I, so much our. Our, our identification with a given candidate as a party and instead focus on their principles. You know, if, as long as we oh. look at them as what it is they stand for, because there, there are too many people that still do not understand what the movement is about. And if they get focused on the fact that it's a Tea Party candidate, that sends a different message than if they understand what that means. And you know, I think in that New York race, there was the, the one candidate was, not, was a Democrat. So in, you... the, in the Renaissance Pact, we're working with uh, a group that's uh, really got a great setup for that is the American majority. Oh. And uh, there has to be a lot of acquaintance mm -hmm. with the principles. Let's but in the end, we've got to join in to get a candidate that can be elected that will win for that. All right, well, you know what? Let's talk about principles over party after the break.